What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Rochelle, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing. In today's video, I will be doing a cash stuffing. It is time to dive into June 2021, y'all. Ready or not, we are here with week one's budget. Paycheck number one is coming in hot with a total income of $5,100.34. Now in today's video, we will be taking 300 of that and stuffing it into our cash envelopes. And I have my breakdown here. I love my little sticker, make today count, because we're gonna be counting money, get it? That <laughs> cracked me up. Anyway, um, we also will be talking about our savings challenges. So let's go ahead and dive right in with those for um, today's zero out challenge, I transferred a total of $3.72 into our emergency fund savings account. And I will be counting up money to add to our nickel challenge. So hold tight for that. And it is time to bring back a third savings challenge that I have previously had to put on hold while we cash flowed our kitchen renovation. That's all done. And so we are bringing back the 26 week challenge <laughs> i'm so excited i love savings challenges i love multiple savings challenges because our goal is to save as much as possible so that we can throw it all at our mortgage and be mortgage free by the end of this year now for today's video in order to catch up in the 26 week process we are at week 11 in the 20 seek mm, 20 seek 26 week challenge and so i will be contributing 153 dollars so i have that right here pulled out fresh ready and this is not included in the 300 so 20 40 60 80 100 10 20 30 40 50 1 2 3 so we will add that to our savings challenge and remember the nickel challenge and the 26 week will all go to the mortgage so Dumb excited about that. Speaking about the mortgage, speaking about the mortgage, I have my final tally for the mortgage update. Um, it does not include what will happen with this paycheck, but all the numbers have finally cleared. And after making a last payment with our May savings challenge money, our mortgage is down to $19,887, y'all. We are, we for real, we just being teenagers out here, you know, <laughs> you know. And finally, we will be stuffing our sinking funds. And so now that we did all that, let's look at my little cute little bank run wallet. Why can't I think of the word? <laughs> I don't know why. I just thought it was cute. I put my logo on it and um, it's just something that I can run and add my money to real quick. And so for today's video, here is the 300 that we will be stuffing. And so that's, let me just make sure it's right, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. And so we'll sit that here, one, five, 10, 20, yep. And then we have our savings challenge money, which we will be stuffing. And then we got the bank, okay? Um, if you watched my last cash stuffing video, which was my cash swap, you know that I have a ton of money that I am taking back to the bank and a ton of money that I'm keeping on hand just so that I can do cash swaps when I need to, when I want larger bills or when I want smaller bills. So it's a good amount because I never made that bank run that we talked about. But it's good for today's video because we can have all the change we want, y'all. All of it, okay? Most of this is going back to the bank because I need 50s and 100s because these things are getting up there. Okay, so how about, what should we start with first? Let's do a cash unstuffing, shall we? I have my wallet, cash envelopes. Whoops, not y'all from my wallet let's see how much we have left to unstuff first up groceries groceries has 20 30 35 36 37 dollars left next up is personal personal has ten dollars left then miscellaneous miscellaneous has 20 40 60 dollars we are killing it y'all it's a method to the madness Tips has five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars because we did not go to a restaurant that required tips. We ain't been out. 
I'm not gonna lie to y'all. We've been in the house. We're gonna keep this money in here though, cause you know, tips. And last but not least, eating out, 20. So let's see how much we are working with for our unstuffing. Now remember, well not remember, I haven't even told you guys. I'm not doing a separate June savings challenge that I know of yet. I may see one that catches my eye later on in the month, but for now, I just know that I am saving any of my money that I have form from my unstuffings and it is all going to my nickel challenge. And the nickel challenge is going to be our last mortgage payment that we make at the end of this year. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 25 26 27 oh $127 let me fill that in right here you see you see $127 so that is beautiful let me grab my nickel cash envelope and I keep a huge jar in my um in the house with all our nickel money but I did not bring it down and so I will put all this in there but for our next video so that's hot, that's popping, that's popping. Now remember, the 26 week is supposed to get $153. So here's the 26 week. And prior to that, we had 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So we're gonna do, let's do this. Let's do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Let's do, I'm trying to do as large as possible. 20, 40, 50. Three, And so now I'm gonna put all this together and before I count it, I want to, yeah, I can go up right there. 15, 10, eh, can't do nothing with that. Okay, so it takes me a minute, y'all. It's okay, it takes me a minute. So I think what I'm gonna do is a 20 and then a 10, yeah. I just want as small bills, as large bills as possible. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98. Yep, 198. What's up 26 week challenge people? Your girl is back. <laughs> so excited. Okay. So it feels good to be back in the savings challenge game. And this is proof that you, if you have to stop for whatever reason, you can jump back, you can catch back up, okay? And just remember, if we stick to this 26 week challenge, by the end of the year, we will have saved over $1,300. I might be saying that right. It's either 1253 or 1353. Or is it 1373? Anyway, I'll put a little picture, you know me. But I am so excited to be doing these savings challenges. Love, love, love them. Okay, so savings challenges got some love. Now let's go ahead and restuff these envelopes. First up is groceries, which is going to get 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Next up is personal. Personal is just going to get a cute five. I'm really trying to cut down on my spending. It's working out so far. Next up is miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is going to get 60. It used to get 75, but our spending has decreased. Next up is tips. Tips is going to get an additional $5. And so that should be 15, five, 10, and five ones, 15. And then eating out is going to get 20. Okay, so now I can put all my, well, I'll do that after, afterwards. I've already pulled out my sinking funds, so it's time to stuff those as well. Yeah, I set it over here. Mix it up this time, you know. So first up is self-care. Self-care is going to get $20. And so that will mean that we have $70. And I need to build this up by, I think, next week or the week after. Yeah, because we just got our massages. We were going every two weeks, but Mike works a lot. So we'll just get it done next rotation. 
Next up is health. Health is getting twenty dollars. It's got one hundred and sixty. So now we've got one hundred and fifty, seventy, eighty, one hundred and eighty. In case we need to buy any health items. Next up is beauty. Beauty, I'm going to hold off on. I'm not going to stuff yet. Right now, it has one hundred left. I might come back to that in another video. Next up is E. E is getting twenty dollars. She has one twenty. So now she has one forty. Next up is Mike. Mike is also going to get twenty. So he has. $120, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, perfect. Next up is H&H &H, House and Hygiene. It has $20 left and we're gonna add another 10. Now we got 30. I'm gonna be beefing this one up more because we're moving y'all. We're moving into our own place. I'm gonna be responsible for my own household items. All right, next is me. Ro is getting $10. And so now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Next is LV, which is going to get 10. Oh, I forgot about that. I forget every time. Go ahead, LV, with the 250 and $60. Thank you, thank you very much. 260 and last but not least is fun i don't think i'm gonna add anything to fun it's good enough we have 140 yeah that's more than enough i will build this up starting when next pay so we will put these back see you see how this thing doesn't want to stay open anymore Ugh. I love my LV products, but lately they've been tripping. I don't know if it's the humidity in the air. I don't know what it is. I don't like bending them either, like to force them to stay open, but I might have to because I'm not struggling. <laughs> I'm not fighting these things. And then we have our new savings challenges. And then we have our bank money, which I'm really gonna take, I'm gonna take some fives back for sure, cause this is crazy. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'll just keep 50. The rest of these are going back to the bank. And I'll get higher bills for those. y'all i'm telling you guys if you want to save a trip to the bank and you can only make it to the atm highly highly recommend this this is my own personal bank for cash exchanges i know <laughs> but it works try to go to the bank as less as possible and the rest of these will go in my wallet Okay guys, that's it. That is it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in to another cash stuffing. Please let me know how your month of June is going so far. I can't even believe I'm saying June. Like I just got used to saying May, but ready or not, June is in full effect. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace, love, and budgets. Mm -hmm.